what's up guys i hope you all are doing well welcome to my channel empath oasis for today's video we are going to be doing it on the topic of what is the current tea on you and what are people currently saying about you real quick thank you to everyone who has been supporting my channel i really do appreciate you if you would like more information on me or more information on how you can book a personal reading with me that will always be the most accurate way to get a reading you can find all of that in the caption of this video but let's get into your options for group one you guys will be my jade necklace and group two you guys will be my chakra prayer beads if you guys need more time you can always pause the video timestamps will be available in the caption Hey group one, welcome to your reading for what is the current tea on you. So let's see what's going on with you guys. If this reading does not resonate with you at all, you can try the other option. If none of these piles resonate with you, you can always check out my playlist. All of my videos on this channel are timeless. There may be something more accurate for you there, or you can always book a personal reading with me. Okay, group one, let's see what's going on with you guys. For this group, I pulled four of torches reversed, five of swords, prince of torches reversed, the star, nine of torches reversed, and king of pentacles reversed. So I'm getting two really strong energies with this group. Only take what resonates with you. One of these could or both of these could. So the first energy that's coming through is actually a message from your higher self. If you have currently been struggling with, let's say, a loss of a job, or maybe you are having a lot of conflict with certain people, you could be falling out with certain people, felt betrayed or backstabbed by somebody, feel like people are attacking you, or maybe you can feel like you're getting a lot of hate you could be feeling like you are struggling with a loss of enthusiasm motivation you could just be feeling like there's a lack of good news in your life a lack of something exciting going on for you in your life you're ready for a change you're growing impatient with how the current energy in your life is feeling and for some of you these types of scenarios i just listed could be triggering you in ways that you may be finding yourself falling back into old patterns which could be creating more frustration for you but what i'm hearing right now for those situations is i'm seeing that right now you guys are being challenged to transcend these behaviors because you're currently being presented with an opportunity to jump timelines. You're being presented with an opportunity to recognize when you are falling back into old self-sabotaging ways or patterns and choose something different. Make a decision to be more intentional and in control of how you direct your energy. Right now, a lot of you are on the verge of an identity upgrade. You are on the verge of transmuting some very dense shadow work. So right now you are being guided by your higher self to focus on your vision of what it is you want your future to look like. Right now, focus on how you want it to feel. Envision yourself already having this and align yourself with the version of yourself in that reality. And if they were confronted with these same triggers, how would they approach or handle this situation? This energy is challenging you to shift your perspective and start moving in ways that are unique to how you used to move in the past. There is a warning here that when you are doing the shadow work, your ego is going to get triggered. Your ego is going to want to push back. Your ego is not going to feel empowered by you taking these actions that are not what your ego is comfortable doing. But this is an opportunity for you to silence your ego's voice and to listen to the guidance of your higher self and how you should move in this situation that you're currently feeling challenged by. The fact that this is coming through in these cards is letting me know that this timeline shift, this upgrade is very close to manifesting in your current reality. This is a time about being honest with yourself and being very clear when it comes to your intentions and how you are directing your life force. So the other energy that is coming through that I'm seeing with these cards, if that first scenario didn't resonate with you, I'm seeing situations here where some of you got into an argument or a fallout or a breakup. This could be a hater's energy or someone who put themselves in competition with you. Someone who talked a lot of shit about you. They could have been talking down on you. The energy coming through these cards of struggle is actually their current struggle. I'm seeing with this star card, there is a certain level of healing happening with these people where the universe is forcing them to get honest with themselves and face 
the stuff that's bothering them face those unhealed wounds and it's leaving them in this energy of feeling very weak or vulnerable and insecure some of you might be seeing these people like doing the most right now they may be overcompensating trying to get as much attention or external validation because they're feeling very powerless or insecure. I'm seeing that they're feeling very defensive and on edge, easily triggered, or they're feeling like very attacked by people. But I feel like a lot of this is a manifestation of their own internal conflict. It looks like they're being forced to do some form of shadow work and be confronted by the truth with their behavior with you, the truth with their actions. For some of you, these people are accepting it and there's a significant amount of grieving happening. In others, I'm seeing this stubborn energy and trying to push back back trying to resist these lessons that are coming through but it's like this stubbornness is bringing them misfortune it's causing them to sabotage themselves every time this person is moving towards a lie or a distraction i'm seeing that they're getting serious pushback from the universe i'm seeing projects and goals getting messed up i'm seeing them losing a bunch of things i'm seeing a lot of things breaking the risks that they're taking are backfiring. There's just an overall lack of support from the universe the more they are rejecting this truth that is coming in. It's also aligning them with people who are thieves and users and liars, deadbeats and abusers. And I'm also picking up that these people are feeling very obsessed with you guys. There are a significant amount of you here where those that are grieving, they are going to initiate some kind of communication in the future. I feel like they want to heal the situation. They want to apologize. It's up to you whether or not you want to accept their apology. You can forgive people and not let them back into your life. If you do let them back into your life, it's really important that you do not budge with your boundaries with these people. I'm also hearing from spirit for some of you, you guys could be on the verge of things really shifting for you in your reality when it comes to your abundance and your success or your influence. Some of you in this group could be becoming influencers in the near future. And there is someone that is around you that could be getting very triggered by your growth, your expansion, seeing the spotlight on you. This could be someone from your past that's in this denial energy. Seeing you getting recognition, seeing you in the spotlight may cause these people to try and attack you. As long as you guys are, you know, keeping your boundaries up again, enforcing your boundaries, you're protected from this, but you know, just keep an eye out for that. Some of these people may try to mess with your bag by messing with your focus, by trying to provoke you. Don't fall into that trap. Don't sabotage yourself by giving this person that type of power. So some of you do have important decisions to make. If you identified more with the first part of this reading, it could be around how you choose to approach your current challenges. This could be shifting you into a new timeline, a new level of abundance and manifestation, or or some of you could be getting an apology soon. Someone could be wanting to heal their relationship with you. I did pull cards for that timeline or when the majority of you here will be getting an apology. For some of you, as soon as eight hours, others of you up to six months. And for the timeline of when you guys will see that shift in reality, an identity upgrade. For that, I pulled the tower and two of pentacles. So this is coming in pretty rapidly. The tower is like instantaneous. It can be literally immediately okay and two of pentacles the energy i'm getting with this is two weeks so it's coming in pretty fast the last thing i want to look at for this group are the signs that are coming in for you guys this will be either your sun moon rising venus or mars or the signs of the other person that was coming through with this reading sagittarius scorpio cancer leo and gemini all right group one i hope that resonates with you and it brought you some clarity and healing thank you guys so much for watching i'm not going to move on to group two. Bye. Hey group two, welcome to your reading for what is the current tea on you. If this reading does not resonate with you, if you haven't already tried the other pile, you can go ahead and do that. You can always check out my playlist or if you missed it, like I said in the beginning, booking a personal reading is always the most accurate way to get a reading done. But let's see what's going on with you guys. Ten of Cups, Temperance reverse, two of staffs reverse, six of cups, three of swords reverse, king of swords reverse, seven of coins, death and strength. Okay, so the first thing I am seeing here is that there's a lot of you that recently 
have overcome a karmic lesson or a lesson around self-mastery, around discipline, around enforcing stronger boundaries, being intentional with how you direct your energy, or some of you have learned to align with the flow of your life, not rushing things, not trying to push yourself and show up when you don't have anything to give, making sure you are getting rest. You are learning not to push things to happen before they are ready to happen. There's an energy here of acceptance that is causing a lot of you guys to start attracting abundance through alignment instead of overexerting yourself, draining and depleting your life force, overextending yourself. I'm seeing a very powerful transformation happening for a lot of you, for your patience, your dedication, your shadow work. I do see as well, some of you are actually in the middle of one of these lessons that I just mentioned. I'm also picking up on another energy here where there's someone you either ended a relationship with or someone that you recently got into an argument with. Their energy is coming through. They feel either stuck in the past or there's this sense of urgency and impatience of just wanting to come back to you, wanting to reconnect to you. It does feel like you guys are creating distance from this person. They're really struggling not being able to talk to you. There's a lot of pain here that they are in having to wait for things to change or shift between the two of you. For some of you, there's someone here who may even resent you and is very bitter because it looks like you moved on completely from this relationship. All of these scenarios though, these people's energy feels obsessive towards you. The people who are resentful and bitter, I'm seeing that they're talking shit. Their ego looks like it's really bruised. There's energy here of them struggling with feeling rejected by you. Some of these people may be trying their best to distract themselves, maybe with someone else's company. They could be looking for another supply if these people are narcissists. Some of these people may even be taking it as far as to sleeping around and it's, it feels like it's backfiring on them. A lot of these people are struggling with their self-worth. These people who are engaging in activities that they're hoping to get validation from to soothe this pain that they're in, it's just destroying them even more. I'm also seeing scenarios here, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic one, but there's some people here who are feeling bitter because they thought that you would have already come running back to them. They thought that you would have already been begging for their help. They were under this impression that they had some kind of control or power over you, but it looks like you guys took your power back. It looks like you guys overcame whatever challenges you were dealing with on your own. And this person is feeling upset about that. They're feeling pissed off and bitter about it. Their ego gets a sense of its power by dominating you or controlling you or criticizing or belittling you or making you feel dependent on them. Their ego gets off, oh, I'm controlling you emotionally. And I feel like a lot of you here with this strength card, you are exhibiting more self-discipline and having more control over yourself and your emotional reactions. And this is making a lot of these people spiral because they're not able to feed off your energy the way they used to in the past. A lot of these people are desperately trying to get your attention or desperately looking for your replacement or someone to give them some kind of narcissistic supply. I am getting this message that for some of you, you guys are in a situation where you are dealing with someone where the energy is like hot and cold on and off. This person may have shown you that they are not loyal, they can't be trusted, they're a liar. Or when you guys get into heated conversations or have difficult conversations, they're easily triggered, the communication becomes vicious or unfair or abusive. If you do relate to any of those scenarios that I just stated, Spirit is wanting you guys to examine why you want to hold on to these connections. I do feel like there's a lot of fear that is preventing you from letting go of these scenarios. There's fear of what's on the other side of no longer trying to make this work. But I am seeing in these cards that there is a healthier connection that is waiting to come in 
but is getting blocked by this situation. You may have gotten several warnings from the universe that this is not a relationship that is for your highest good. Spirit wants you to acknowledge these warnings. This reading actually is reminding me of a recent client reading I had where she was debating with whether or not she wanted to leave her current relationship, if she should continue trying to make it work. But these cards were saying something similar to this. And she asked me for a time frame. And the time frame was very quick. It was ridiculously fast. I told her I wasn't even confident in this time frame because it was so quick. I kept pulling cards and the same message kept coming through. There is someone waiting, someone that you will have a fulfilling relationship with, but you have to let go of this relationship that is aligning with something from your past that you are trying to grow beyond, that you are not trying to repeat these cycles, that mirrors a toxic, unhealthy dynamic. But you have to say no to elevate to this healthier relationship. So I told her this, but it's come in immediately. That's what the cards are saying. I do want to add to this story that, you know, everybody's situation is going to be different. But the purpose behind me sharing this, all the same reason. But this client of mine, she had been a client of mine for like four or five years now. So I had seen the amount of work she put into healing her traumas, healing her relationship wounds and dynamics through the years. So looking back at it now and seeing this time frame coming through from the cards, it does make sense that it would happen rapidly because I have seen firsthand everything that she has been doing to heal herself. I posted her review on my Instagram if you want to check it out, but she and her partner ended up getting into a confrontation. They broke up. Within 12 hours, she met somebody else. I was blown away. Their integrity and morals align, their goals align. They are extremely compatible. She sent me a picture of the two of them together and they are just glowing. They look so complimentary to each other. You can tell that it is a good match. I've been dating now for like three or four months and she recently gave me an update and pretty much told me that being with this new person that she's with, it really makes her feel like why did she ever give anyone else a chance? Like she's so happy, you know, she let go of this other relationship and there was an opportunity for them to get back together, but they had been in this repeated cycle for a long time that was not getting better. So she opened herself up to the universe for new opportunities to come in. And she is so happy. And I wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, I'm not saying that your situation will happen exactly like that, but I just wanted to show an example of how sometimes we can be blocking our own happiness by holding on to things that are not working because we are afraid to let go. Or because they're familiar or comfortable. Sometimes something being familiar and comfortable, especially if we come from a traumatic past, is not a good thing. So I do feel like some of you are being challenged by those scenarios. Some of you, I feel like you actually, this was your karmic lesson that you completed. You did let go of this relationship. You said no to it and there is love coming in for you. I am going to pull a time frame for all of you around when this new relationship, this love will be coming in. And I'll pull a time frame for when you guys will be aligning with the reward or the abundance for your shadow work or for your self-discipline, self-mastery. I'm also seeing here that some people are talking about this group, talking about how much better you look or how much better you are doing since you separated from somebody. And it could be this relationship that I just talked about you guys walked away from people are talking about how you ending this relationship or this relationship ending if you weren't the one who ended it was in your benefit a lot of these people felt like the person you're dealing with was a liar or they didn't have integrity or some of you these people felt like the way they talked to you they didn't like it they felt like it was very disrespectful or even cruel some of these people may have suspected that this person was not loyal either. I'm also hearing some of these people are talking about how you were out of this person's league. They may have felt that you looked better than them. They felt that you were settling. Some of these people who are saying this are people who actually want to date you. They're really excited that this relationship is over and they're getting ready to shoot their shot. Another message is coming through that there are people who really want an opportunity to date you, but they are upset that you are in an Another relationship. These people are talking about how they're like waiting for this to end so they can pounce on their chance. I don't know why her pounce. I think it's because this 
strength card has this cat or lion and it's also a card about intense sexual attraction so i feel like there's a lot of you in this group that are very desirable and there are a significant amount of people who are a little bit bitter or bummed out that you're not single some of you i'm also hearing you know if you did struggle with addiction in the past and you've been sober for some time or you've quit something recently or if you've recently made some really healthy lifestyle choices and changes people are talking about how much better you look since you've done that like they they are noticing like a glow about you or like your energy you seem to be more elevated or more happy some of these people are talking about how proud they are of you and how strong and powerful they think you are so when will this new fulfilling relationship be in your life when will you guys be in a commitment or you will see your harvest the abundance from your shadow work your discipline your self mastery five hours up to four months some of you may have already actually met this person that you'll have a fulfilling relationship with it's just a matter of making a choice with are you going to repeat a cycle or a pattern or are you going to choose a more elevated connection the last thing i want to look at are the signs that are coming through for this group for either your sun moon rising venus or mars or these can be the signs of the people that i spoke about in this reading so we can just get some confirmation these messages were in fact meant for you saturn which is capricorn or aquarius leo venus which is libra or taurus mercury which is virgo or gemini and uranus which is aquarius again so heavy aquarius energy hopefully this resonates with you guys and it brought you some healing or clarity if it did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you feel inspired to thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye